but there you go. But sometimes they're out words. We can't put words to what we're seeing on our screens and hearing every day from Gaza. But the message from the RMT is simple. We are here in solidarity with you as demonstrators who have defied the powers that be. We are here in solidarity with the victims of this conflict. We will continue to support demonstrations calling for peace and we will actively promote fundraising for medical aid to Gaza. We remain horrified at the loss of thousands of lives and we send our condolences and solidarity to all those impacted by this violence. We condemn the slaughter of civilians. We condemn collective punishment. We demand the freedom of the hostages. We demand the freedom and liberation of the people of Gaza who are held in bondage and in hostage all of the time. Thousands of men, women and children, civilians have been slaughtered and we urge all parties, including the international community, to work to stop the bloodshed. We call for an immediate ceasefire and an end to hostilities from all sides, from Hamas, from Israel, from the settlers and all parties. We must stop the violence and take the road to peace. The conflict can only be resolved through a just resolution, through dialogue and respect for international law, including the illegal occupation of Palestinian land and support for the two-state solution. We support the, the voices on both sides that have shown tremendous courage in promoting peace, dialogue and a just settlement. RMT opposes anti-Semitism and Islamophobia and stands for respect and toleration for all peoples and all beliefs. In Britain, we must have peace and toleration in all of our communities, and we condemn the far-right hate merchants and provocateurs, such as this Home Secretary. And we will work with the wider anti-racist movement, the trade union and labor movement, for unity amongst our people against racism and fascism. It is important on this Remembrance Weekend, when the RMT has members serving in the Royal Fleet Auxiliary on the ships in the region, that we respect and remember all of those that have suffered in conflict and war. We must remember all victims of wars and we must do all that we can to create peace in the world and the respect for their memory. We call on the British government to stop its support of the hostilities and to bring about immediate peace and a just settlement based on UN resolutions and international laws. Call the ceasefire, stop the deaths, stop the war, respect the grief and sorrow of all the peoples, build the peace, solidarity to all of you and all of those who are suffering. Thank you, keep campaigning, keep marching until we bring that peace. Thank you again. Make some noise for Nick Lynch! Now our next speaker is another trade unionist and when there was some